Hi, I'm Andy. Today we're going to talk about the basics of a multimeter, specifically voltage testing. Now a couple of things before we get started. Voltage testing can be dangerous. You're dealing with live voltage which can shock or kill you. So use your brain, follow the rules. These are your leads for your meter. This is what we're actually going to be sticking into the sockets or touching live voltage with. So these metal pieces obviously do not touch these while you're doing the testing. Electricity will run through you and not your meter. And that would cause a bad day. We'll talk about AC voltage, which is alternating current, and also DC voltage, which is direct current. Now my meter um, may or may not look like yours, but mine has an auto voltage feature, which is really nice. It will auto detect between direct current and alternating current. If you do not have that feature, not a problem. You should have a V with a wavy line over it. That's going to be your alternating current. So if you're testing wall voltage, that's what you would use. If you're testing more like battery voltage, DC voltage, you'll have a line with dots under it. So you would just need to manually select which one you were testing. For instance, we will start with a battery. Take our positive side and touch it to the positive terminal on the battery and the common we're going to stick to the negative side of the battery and you'll see that gives us 1.6 volts roughly same thing can happen over here on auto voltage it will auto detect that this is a battery and give me 1.6 volts now we're going to test alternating current so wall plugs again use caution don't touch the metal pieces insert one lead into one side of the plug and then the other into the other side and roughly 124 volts so that's good wall outlet should have around 120 unless you're testing a dryer outlet which should be roughly 220 between 220 and 240 volts ac there it is i hope that helps somebody thanks for watching